Yeah, it's it's definitely just the nature of it. The fact that you're training on the water and often it is cold and wet and dark for the majority, if not all of your, your session, uh, weeds people out pretty quickly. And so it's the, the folks who really seriously want to be there are, are generally speaking the ones who can uh, who show up and are, are successful. And then, you know, there's definitely a discomfort factor. Um, I mean, you're other than the fact that it's a full body workout, your back gets sore, your muscle, all your muscles get sore because you're using them all the time. You know, there's discomfort in just simple things like your hands get chewed up because you you're working with an oar in your hands all the time and it's wet and you get blisters and you have to get calluses over them and all that stuff. So there's a lot of just uncomfortable uh pieces to it so it it builds a level of resilience in in the athletes who commit to it um that's that's hard to parallel and then obviously from there there's like it's like degrees of separation because anyone who's willing to tolerate a sport like that for any amount of time has some grit to them but then it's like another level that you find as you continue to, to get better at the sport and do it at a very high level. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, it's just something that as, as with anything, you figure it out over time, you figure out what you enjoy, you know, is this discomfort, is this challenging hard workout you're doing worth it to you to be the best or be as good as you can be. And when you start to make those decisions for yourself in those moments and and deciding to wake up and go to practice it starts to build a a character for lack of a better term um that you start to identify with and and can just sort of carry you into that next session or that next practice 